Tim, here we are out in the woods. It's two-thirds of the way through January, and it's a pretty cold day, although it's sunny, and other than the wind, it's pretty nice out here. Yeah, it is a nice day. But we're going to do a podcast today, just a tips and tricks on uh, hinge cutting versus uh, what I'm calling browse cutting. And uh, what we're standing in front of is some hinge cutting that I have done three or four years ago. And uh, the pros of hinge cutting are that um, it will provide it will provide some bedding shelter and browse. So you can still see that this tree, even though it's been cut, because I didn't cut it all the way through and has pushed it over, it's still attached here and still alive and these, these branches are growing. Yeah, you can tell it's still, I mean, it's still got growth. It's trying to heal itself. Yep, yep. So um, we'll take some video of this afterwards, but this whole area has kind of been hinge cutting, kind of the size of a half a football field or so. Um, I was really going after, you know, uh, bedding areas and whatnot, but uh, I really want to promote some browse areas now. So now uh, we had Jeremy Cochran, uh, state forester, who came out and he said, he goes, hey, we want to try to get away from hinge cutting. So uh, I know there were some things that he brought up that he said are, they're da it can be dangerous, isn't that right? Yeah, so let's talk about the cons of uh, hinge cutting. So the cons are using a chainsaw to cut up this high and you're trying to cut through just enough to push it over but not too far to completely cut it off. So it's, it's tricky and uh, the bigger the tree you got, the more dangerous and the trickier it is. The other con to it is you're seeing that there's still some growth here and some browse, but this is way too high. If it's anything above your chest, a deer's not going to eat that or get to it. Okay. So some, some big difficulty. The other one is, is you know, the term he used that, that uh, I caught on to is barber cherry. And uh, what barber cherrying is, is, if you cut these, if you cut them through, or in, instead of tipping over, they'll actually break off. And what's left is, looks like a barber chair. And it can come after you too, right? Well, when it breaks off, which way is it going to go? It's, it can go any direction, right? And here you are standing with a chainsaw. So uh, super dangerous. And uh, I'm glad I did it to experiment with most of the trees here. I did. We're pretty small as we get some video and shooting around this area. But what we're gonna do is uh, browse cutting, which instead of cutting half through the, the tree, we're gonna come down here at about knee level or even a little bit lower and just cut it off. Flat? Flat. We're not gonna put any uh, tordon or any chemicals on it with the hope that the, that stump starts to grow back and then the, the, the deer just love going in and nibbing off those new sprouts and browse. Okay. Right? So that's what we're going to be doing today. All right. Sounds good. So I want to create some brows, um, and again, brows are uh, trees that are continuing to grow either from the stump or the side of the stump, and uh, there's a great opportunity here to cut 10, 12 of these trees down their elm or hackberry or not, not the best trees to have anyway from a TSI standpoint. So not only am I creating brows, but I'm also creating some TSI opportunity for some of these nice oaks and uh, a few walnuts actually. So, uh, two birds for one stone. Again, what we're going to do is take a chainsaw, just cut these off at about knee level or even a little bit lower. I'm not going to spray them with Tordon or any chemical or anything and just kind of pray in the spring that, uh, you know, they continue to grow and the deer will come and start nipping them off. All right. I see you got your steel saw. So, again, not a sponsor, but you never know. All right. right? Let's get after it. All right.
Tim. So first of all, struggled with the chainsaw. I thought I thought it was just dull, and I sharpened it before we came out, and obviously that blade's down. I need to get a new one there. So, but this is what we're looking for. Um, the trees I cut were either elm or hackberry, so they're not compared to the other trees around it. The bigger trees, oaks, and walnuts, and whatnot, black cherries over here. Um, you know, they're they're not good trees. So cut them off about knee high, and the hope would be is that you know we get some sprouting here in the spring, and uh, those give them a deer a place to come and migrate and and uh, and eat. Yeah, I look forward to seeing how this is going to turn out. Nice job. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.